Good morning, you guys. Today is January 30th, and I'm going to be filming this morning routine for you of what I normally do as a college student. So, good morning, everyone. Here is a little span of my room. I love my room. I'm in here all the time, and here is me and my slippers. And this is my outfit for today. I just have on my favorite sweatshirt, and I have just some regular um, sweatpants to go with it because this is a comfy day, and I have my comfy slippers on. Um, and now I am walking to go show you guys a full length me waving <laughs> thumbs up all right and then I always put my hair up in the morning just to get it out of the face and that I can just easily operate through throughout the morning without it getting in the way of things so this is just me putting my ponytail in and it looks like I am almost done there And now I am grabbing my iPad and I'm heading to the um, bathroom because now I am going to um, put my iPad down and I always close the door and I am now going to go into the process of taking out my retainer and I always take out my retainer in the mornings I wear a retainer at night and I take it out in the mornings and I always have to rinse it off just to keep it nice and sanitary so here is me I'm turning on the faucet and rinsing out my retainer and I have a special blue case for it it is just this blue retainer case that I keep it in throughout the day so I always can go back to it at night there's my nighttime retainer all right so now we are walking over to my living room area if you did not know this is what my townhouse living room area looks like it's very spacious very big me and my roommates tried to decorate it for valentine's day so there's red streamers up and then we have a huge window area our couches uh, we have a little table and then there's our front door and then just an overview of our kitchen our fridge our stove our oven just a whole little view and then we put a valentine's day themed um, tablecloth on our table and then there's leading to my room me and my slippers i wear those literally every time and our lovely table with the tablecloth is there and so now this is my favorite part of my morning i make my coffee and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen me make this coffee literally all the time it's my favorite time of the day i get my little iced coffee maker that i got from target um it is currently sold out everywhere i wish i could link it in the description for you guys to get it but it's currently sold out so i'm sorry about that but i just go ahead and i start brewing my iced coffee so if you're curious i put some water in the bottom then i put the strainer on top and i get um, a french vanilla roast flavor here's my coffee cabinet here and I use the Folgers French Vanilla Flavor Ground Coffee. And the cool thing about my iced coffee maker is it gives you a little spoon so that I can just easily put it into my um, coffee maker without doing too much measuring. A full scoop equals a full serving of one cup of coffee. So that makes it all really easy. So I just do that. And this one was actually the last time I could use that one because I have a fresh one in my cabinet so that's my last of using that specific coffee and then I just measure it in there and this is me realizing that it is completely empty and that I can take the um, spoon out and save it for tomorrow morning and then put that can in the recycling because it is empty now I have used all the coffee in that I typically I think go through about I want to say a couple of those in a span of a semester so definitely is a necessity there and then what I'm doing now is I'm turning on my coffee machine to make sure that is on and brewing while I kill time by going to put that back in the recycling bin there and that um, is that 
And now I'm putting my Brita water filter back in the fridge so that I can have ice cold water the next time I need the water. And then I close the fridge and I am heading back over to my little area in the kitchen. Actually, no, I forgot something. I forgot the ice cubes. That's the most important part of iced coffee. Forgetful of me. So then I go back to my little coffee area. And because we do not have an ice maker in our uh, like fridge slash uh, kitchen area, I do make my own ice. So I just get the little ice um, plastic maker, fill it up with water, and I freeze it overnight so I can have ice for my iced coffee in the morning. And then after I fill it up with ice, I fill it back up to put back in the freezer so that I will have ice for my iced coffee the next morning. And this is just one that I got from Target my freshman year of college that I've been using ever since. And it's never failed me. So definitely, um, if you want some way to make ice for your coffee in college, definitely recommend that. And then I'm heading back to the freezer to put the ice cube tray back in the freezer so I can have my frozen coffee ready to go. Nice little panoramic shot of the ice cubes. And I have a little spot in the freezer that I keep it. And now I'm going to close the freezer. And now I'm just waiting for my coffee to fill up with the ice cubes in it. Here's a little time lapse of that. And now my coffee is finished. I just added some milk, creamer, and sugar, and we're good to go. And if you're curious, those are the ingredients I use, just French vanilla coffee make creamer and milk. And then for my breakfast today, I decided to treat myself, and I made myself a chocolate mug cake, which it was super delicious. I can't wait to make it again. So here's me stirring it up, and then I microwaved it in the microwave. We had extra barbecue sauce from dinner the other night, so I just moved that over. Opened the microwave, and I set my mug cake in the microwave. And I set the time. And it is now cooking in there. And now it is done. It looks so good. It was really yummy, you guys. I absolutely ate that whole thing up. Then I felt extra fancy and I got some leftover chocolate ice cream that I had in my freezer and I put it on top to make it like a breakfast chocolate sundae type of thing. I like my breakfast to taste like dessert so I can look forward to it more. So here's just me putting some chocolate ice cream on my mug cake and just a dis disclaimer, I do eat healthy. I don't have this every single morning for breakfast. It was a weekend. It was a Saturday. Fun fact that I filmed this so I decided to treat myself. And then I just take my breakfast and my coffee back to my room. There it is. And I have a little coffee. Um, holder in my little desk. Here's my to-do list for today. I've already gotten a bunch done. Hey guys, so that's going to be it for my morning routine as a college sophomore. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what a typical morning is like for me. Um, very relaxed, very um, easy because in the mornings I want to transition to either a productive day or a relaxing day. Um, but today is going to be a relaxing day because it's the weekend. every time I post a new video and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys enjoy and I will talk to you guys in the other video bye <laughs>